I would say yes. I would say earnings are coming in better than expected, as Dom was just saying. Whether you look at it in terms of breadth, we've got about a 77 and 78 you know, percent of companies beating. That's after you know, Q4, where you know, it doesn't look like such a big deal that only 68 percent of companies were beating, but that was actually a seven-year low. So companies generally beat, number one. Number two, the size of the beat, as he mentioned, you know, is, uh, we calculate it as closer to six and a half percent, which compares with a typical beat of sort of three and a half percent. So either way you cut it, I would say earnings are better. Uh, you know, than expected, modestly so. So, Gaitras, how bullish you are on U.S. equities? Are you telling clients to be significantly overweight? Uh, so, what I would say basically is that, uh, you know, very, very near term, I would say the market's sort of playing out the typical earnings season script, which is, uh, you know, out of the last uh, 24 earnings seasons, in 20 of them, the market's been up by an average of about 3%. So that would suggest we are sitting at around 2% up since J.P. Morgan reported. Uh, so you've got another percent to go to hit the average. Um, and, and at that point, I, would, I, mean, I think we will get there. So a little longer, a little bit further. But I would argue uh, uh, after that, and then maybe as close as uh, the end of this week when earnings are mostly basically done, um, and, you know, the market's ready for a sort of typical 3 to 5 percent pullback. Uh, it's going to be basically a little bit over four months since we had a 3 percent pullback. We typically get them every two to three months. Uh, they're driven by positioning, and I would argue positioning, you know, if you look across the segments, is either long or you go well on its way to getting there quickly. Jack? As I mentioned, we've got an exciting week coming up, a jobs report, a Fed meeting, resumption of trade talks, tons of earnings. What do you think is going to be the most important? I think earnings are really the story here. Look, earnings are the mother's milk of the market. And what we have been seeing over the course of these last few weeks is really surprising. In fact, it's, it's shifting the psychology of the marketplace, Sarah. Look, you know, everyone's been asking why this is happening. Why did everybody miss it? Even the IMF came out and actually missed all of this. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that repatriation in and of itself is not instant gratification. And, and I had to explain this to a few customers and a few traders. Remember, it takes literally anywhere from six to nine months to unwind assets that are held overseas. Then, of course, the board has to decide what to do with them. And then you implement the action. What we are going through right now is actually the implementation of what we have been expecting over the course of the last nine to ten months. And that is a lot of CapEx starting to hit the marketplace. It's doing it in a very covert manner, by the way. And it's doing it with a lot of money on the sidelines, which is one of the reasons we continue to see these markets going at all-time highs, even without a resolution out of China yet. Imagine where we would be if we had any resolution with the trade tariff situation.